Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks for sticking around on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh. Give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number. You can reach me on Twitter if you want, at Richie Walsh. I'm easy to find. Uh, just send me a message if you want to talk, and if it's good, I'll read it right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. If you want to talk about pit basketball, not a lot of people do. They want to vent. If you want to vent, give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600. It might have been the worst half in pit basketball history. Today, seven points. They scored seven points in the first half. Think about that for a minute. You know, me, you, and three other guys might have been able to score seven points in a half. That's what pit basketball did. Seven points. One for 22. Awful. All this team does is throw up threes. I, I understand, you know, a game plan, but you got to figure out a way to win if you're coaching the right way. I'm not a college basketball coach. I, I don't know how to coach these guys, but you have to figure out. I would sit there and try to figure out a way how to win, win a game, not get blown out. That's what they keep doing is getting blown out. They're not, they don't even have a close game. And the one game that they could have won this year, NC State, they lost. They blew a huge lead. This team, Kevin Stallings has lost this team. The Pitt fans uh, do not want to even hear this guy's name anymore. Um, you talk to nine out of ten Pitt fans. I would, you know, maybe ten out of ten Pitt fans. Um, I, I do not think that they. I, I don't even know what kind of attendance they would have next year if they bring this guy back. I'm all for giving a guy a chance and giving him time, but this team has gotten progressively worse. And how do you build on that? You want to see improvement by the end of the year. And I understand that they played the top team in the country today. But seven points in the first half? Come on. That is, that is embarrassing. Embarrassing. And I mentioned it to Paul just minutes ago. The Panthers are ranked 235th in Ken Palm's ratings. 235th. They're, the, the good news is they're 100 and, they have, there's 116 teams behind them. But 235th teams like Lehigh, Mount St. Mary's, Monmouth, Campbell, Lamar, um, High Point, Illinois, Chicago, teams <laughs> that you never heard of are better than Pitt, have better players than Pitt. It's unbelievable where this team is right now. I don't know how long it's going to take them to get back to um, just a relevant team, but this is probably the worst shape the Pitt basketball program has ever been. It's, it, it, it's the worst shape that I remember since I was a kid watching Pitt. I, I would say it might be the worst shape that this Pat, Pitt basketball program has ever been in. So give me a call, 412-575-2600 if you want to talk about Pitt basketball. Also, Sean Miller in some hot water, not coaching tonight, could potentially get fired. Um, he, FBI has wiretaps and caught him maybe offering someone, allegedly offering his star freshman, DeAndre Ayton, $100,000. So that's interesting and see what happens with this pit basketball scandal. Also, the Pens, tough loss for the Pens today, but they showed they could come back and, and win in any situation, losing 6-5. to five. So we're, taking, we're talking about all those. Be back in two minutes right here on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, putting new roofs on Pittsburgh homes for over 25 years. Call Ireland Contracting at 1-800-NEW-ROOF.